In this session, we are going to show you how easy it is to use the ADB with the cotton candy. Let's insert the cotton candy into our computer to open the C-Stick virtualization client and enable ADB over TCP IP. You can do the same thing with the cotton candy connected to an HDMI screen, but we are going to focus on how this works without any screen technology for this session. In our list of applications on the Cotton Candy, you'll find our FXI Configurator app that allows you to enable or disable ADB over TCP IP. Open it up and enable it by pressing the ADB Enable button. To be able to connect to the Cotton Candy from our PC or Mac, we need to know the IP address of our Cotton Candy. Open up the Settings application Click on Wi-Fi and on the access point you are connected to. Your IP address should now be in the dialog box that is shown. First we need to connect our ADB using the command ADB connect IP address. If you have changed the ADB port to something else than the default 5555, you also have to set the port when trying to connect. ADB connect. IP address and port. We can verify that we are connected with ADB devices. We are now ready to start in Eclipse and have a simple hello world that has opened. Let's run the app on Cotton Candy by hitting play. Now you can see in the console window that the app is being deployed. And if we switch over to our client window, we can see the app running. Next up is adding a breakpoint in our source for debugging purposes. After we have set up a breakpoint, press play to run the app on the Cotton Candy. This time it will break when hitting the breakpoint. In Eclipse, you will see the Logcat window filling up with information, indicating a debug session. You can watch the client window to see how the app is behaving on the device. This concludes today's video session, but stay tuned for more videos.